Hey YouTube, I just want to claim fair use before we get started like usual. Uh, anyway, what this is, I first saw it in church, and it's just one of them inspirational messages, you know, that actually speak to people. I mean, words can counsel, but very rarely can they inspire, and I think that's what, you know, some people need to see sometimes, and this message is very important. Uh, I am so. going to introduce you to the gospel right now. You are a rebel. Whether you want to acknowledge it or not, I'll tell you, straight up. You are a rebel against the living God. This is your natural disposition. Why? Because you are born in sin. We are in a prison cell. And it takes the awakening and the grace of God. You call it the provenient grace of God to awaken us to the fact that we are lost. That's the most important. You need to realize that you're in Satan's prison cell. This is his world. He's running the media, he's sponsoring all this evolution and all this and all this stuff to get you away from God. There is no ascended masters, this new age stuff, it's not the way out. The way it, the, the new age stuff is the great deception that he's warning us about and I'm trying to tell you, man, listen to this. And we can't get out. We're headed towards destruction fast. The enemy, because of our rebellion against God, has legal rights to harm and harass our life. There you are behind the prison cell. Help! Oh, I need out! You can't get out. Those prison bars are stronger than any adamant. There is no way you can cut them because they're stronger than diamond. It is impenetrable. You cannot escape. You're doomed because when the enemy comes in in the very end and he's going to finish you off because he has legal right to do it and he's going to relish every can't escape. How do you fight the government? I mean, I see all these people on there putting their YouTube videos, getting guns and all kind of stuff, and they're going to think it's 1776 versus the Red Code. You can't, you can't do it, okay? It's just... He strolls your intercessor, your mighty man, and he stands between you and that accuser, and he takes the hit that was rightfully to explain it. It's unbelievable. Why me? Just the problem. 
that's the problem I'm facing. I mean, do I deserve to be saved? Do you? Does your mom? Does your sister? Who knows? And that's the problem I'm facing. When I tell my family, they're like, oh, I'm not a criminal. I don't do anything wrong. And you know, they just view their goodness as the human perception, not as the way he would, I guess. That's the problem. Hey, you want to have me work for you? I want you to work for me. I want you to represent me. Absolutely. Anything I can do for you, just tell me. I need you to go back to that prison cell that I took you out of. Because there's a whole bunch more that need to know about me and my love. Now, the prison cell is one that you can't see. It's the TV that keeps you distracted with what the celebrities you worship are buying and selling, what sports team you're, you know, it's all that, that's your prison cell. And your eight hours of community service every day fund it. Will you go for me? In a heartbeat. I would, I would gladly serve you. Any way you want, any way you ask. I need to forewarn you. I'm gonna send you out. And you'll be a sheep among wolves. They'll kill you. They'll destroy you, they'll hate you, they'll persecute you. They will do whatever they can to harm you. I'm in. I'll do it, God. I don't care. You shed your blood for me, I would... Very easier said than done. Just literally experience. Gladly shed my blood for you. Take my body, take my blood, spend it any way you want. I belong to you in, in covenant. Take me, Lord Jesus. Send me the commission. Not just the power. Not just the problem. Not just the invitation into his very near presence. Not just the interesting because when I was asleep in my prison cell as an atheist I didn't care about any of these problems that I'm trying to bring awareness to now I really didn't I consider people as commoners I guess like I don't know the words for it like I just am on a different level than them I don't care about the things they do and I was so absorbed in my own little world of science and you know, whatever, that I was just missing out on everything. And now, ever since I repented, he's led me to notice, like, hey, look at all this famine, look at all this perversion in society, look at all the starvation, the murder, the crime, the, 
corruption it's everywhere you, you can't escape it you can't beat it this is the only way to fight and fight it is to bring it to as the illuminated ones say illuminate it and that's that's what I don't know I'm kinda it's really late and I'm tired so I'm out of clever witty things to say This is the part I'm struggling with. Let's rewind that. That's exactly the part I don't get. I do not. How do you do that? You know, when you tell someone, hey, you know? And they're like, oh, you're just a crazy idiot. F off, you know? It gets... There's no word for it. That's my problem because I'm unnaturally smart, so I can see through all this. But like he was just saying, you can't must if you have the smarts, you can't muster up the strength to get up every day and you know make news presentations or whatever. And if you can do all that, then you know then you'll be living by the books and you won't enjoy people, which is exactly my problem. I turn everyone away and I look at them like. You know, don't bother with me. I'm too important. I'm too busy trying to save you to, you know, listen to you. And it's just backwards. I was kind of doing it backwards. So hopefully you learn from my mistakes and, you know, you know, let him do it. And just get up every day and do your best. <laughs>